Count me, count me in. Make millions every year. The South's champion. Because all I do, all I, all I, all I, all I do is win. And they stay there, yeah. and they stay there. Yeah. We learn, we earn, and we flex. There's anything I want you to write down is this. One of the most dangerous things you can do to yourself in today's era is to limit your education to the classroom. If you believe that this person is outshining you because they have more skills, because they have more um, influence, because they have more money, that's already the service to you. Because light never gets dimmer because another light shines. Get angry that you are here where you are right now when you could be much more until you are fed up or being fed up with where you are there won't be any change motivation is the fuel that drives action but more important than being motivated is the ability to stay motivated the one the only Sam Hi. Sam Harvard I'm a beacon of hope Everywhere I go, everything I do prospers. I am not poor. I make people rich. I am not poor. I make people rich. I am not poor. Bring on stage my brother, all the way from my part, Ghana, Futuris Kwame Opoku. Come on! In post COVID, we have shifted into a new wave of opportunity, and that's the reason why we're here today. behind every desire you admire are requisite action that you need to take in order for that desire to transpire. I want to say welcome Accra Ghana to the 40th Streams Conference. Here in the hall, you connect with great mentors. You get information that will make you relevant in your generation. And just the lack of this information can cost you another 10 years of frustration. It's not a question of whether you can make money online. It's a question of what systems are you aware of that you can take advantage of to make money online. We are not looking at individuals that are just doing the thing. We are just looking at a crop of people who are banded together, seeing themselves as a team that is making a transgenerational change. Until you take that decision and say like the biblical character called Esther, if I perish, I perish, there won't be any change. Most importantly, when you take action repeatedly, because action is not enough. Taking repeated action is what creates results. The key 
is what? Focus. Please, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. With a standing ovation, mm -hmm. we want to welcome into this hall. That's right. Mr. Yes. Kwame. Yari Godo. A millionaire or billionaire is not a function of age, it's not a function of your nationality, it's not a function of gender, and it's not even a function of your sexuality. People are saving life in the internet. People are changing their family's financial standards using the internet. If today we have mobile money, and my seven to two year old mother can send and receive money. It should tell you what technology is. If you want to influence and impact people and you want to be comfortable, you will never get to influence and impact anybody, ladies and gentlemen. A powerful business coach, millionaire mentor, a multi-talented serial entrepreneur, Africa's most sought after sales guru, the boss of sales superstars, internationally acclaimed best selling author, a public speaker per excellence, life and finance strategist. My name is Sam Harrow. Happy Easter, everybody! <laughs> awesome! You can hear me. Give me one, one, one in the chat. Happy Easter, everybody! Come on! Hey, shake that body! Shake that body! Come on! Shake it! Shake it! Shake it! Shake it! Shake. Even if you didn't eat chicken or turkey today, just shake that body a little bit. Come on! Oh, give me some vibe! Come on! To the left! To the right! To the left! To the right, hey, to the left, to the right, come on, hey, 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 everybody, come on, awesome, 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 amazing, fantastic, all right, all right, all right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Please uh, do me a favor, put in the chat where you're watching from. It's going to be an amazing night. I want to promise you. By the way, happy new month. All the way from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. All right, already April in Dubai. I'm in your future. If you're in Africa, if you're in Sub-Saharan Africa, I'm already in your future. Even if you're in East Africa, I'm still in your future already. And I see your future is bright. Your future is great. Everything is beautiful. Amazing. I cannot wait to welcome you to April officially in your country. But of course, I am in April already here. Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. Mm, let's make this a little bit interesting. Awesome. All right. Our people from Douala, Bayelsa, Lagos, Abuja, Cameroon, Idia, Cameroon, Lagos, Nigeria, from all over Africa, another Lagos, Felicia, Kola Wale, um, awesome, Kaduna, Nigeria, from Wari. Amazing. Fantastic. You're welcome from Boya. All right. Stick with me, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a very, very interesting night uh, that we're going to be having here. And I don't want you to miss out. Please, if you know somebody that is supposed to be here, please kindly remind them that class has started. All right. Uh, we have probably, we're going to have a medium night tonight, not really a long night. Because I know we're in the celebration of Easter. But then, this is also an opportunity for me to teach for long. Because I know you are not going to work tomorrow. Uh, especially in Africa. <laughs> so, I can actually keep you for as long as your power banks and batteries can permit me. Or as long as your data can permit me. But please, one thing that I want to assure you is that you're going to gain a lot of value from tonight's meeting. 
and I don't want you to miss out. Please be expectant. Open your heart. Make notes where necessary and prepare for April. April is going to be a very fantastic month. Um, April 2023 was a very interesting month for me personally in business because there were a few things that I changed in my business that made me grow sometimes I think about 50 times what January, February and March was. So April just moved the rockets or the, the, the need or the, the graph just went up very, very high. And then it stayed up. It kept, of course, climbing and climbing. And it's really been a very interesting experience. So I know that the month of April is going to be that extremely cool month for everybody that is here. Uh, in preparation for all the great things that you want to do. Someone said they can't hear me. Uh, it's not my fault that you cannot hear me, John. All right. I want to shout out to everybody whose camera is on right here on Zoom. Um, uh, I can't shout out to everybody, but the few names that I'm seeing, I'm seeing Mimi, no, Yusuf, how are you? Uh, I'm seeing Tenty Joseph. I see Dan John, Dan Josh, Dan Josh, that's the name. I see Emozi Ajiri. I see Emmanuel. How are you, Emmanuel? Happy Easter to you. Please hope you did not eat egg during Easter. All right. I have, um, who else is here? I have Samuel OK or OK. Either of the two. OK, yes. Hi, Samuel. Uh, I have Olga Lawrence. How are you, Lawrence? Uh, there is also Naji Onyedikachi, Onyedikachuku. Even though there is no light where he is, but his camera is on nonetheless. <laughs> I have my roof. Uh, beside my roof, I have Gladys. Hi, Gladys. How are you doing? Welcome to family meeting. All right. I have Emmanuel. I have Demio. I have Mukta, the man that follows me everywhere. Hi, Mukta. I have Meche. Hi, Meche. Good evening. Good morning. Happy new month. <laughs> I have Marius. Hi, Marius. I have Felix. I have Felix uh, David Ogunseha, I think. I have Comfort Affair. I Comfort. Happy Easter, Mama. And Happy New Month as well. Favor. Hi, Mama. Good evening. How are you doing? Welcome to class. Uh, I have Yuli. Yuli, I will not shout out to you. Make I, uh, make I just make I skip you. But it's fine, Sha. It's good to see you. Gabriel Simeon, how are you? Uh, Gillian Mai, Rasak Taiwo. I have David. I have uh, Lydia Shalom. I have Keme. Angela, well, Angela, how are you? <laughs> Jafet is also here. Ngozi, Ugo Chiki Kelly, Goswi Unkem, Daniel Emmanuel, um, Asukwo Basi, good evening, happy Easter, uh, Obina Wogu, and every other person whose camera is going to be on later. But I think these are the few people that I can see for now. All right, you're welcome to the family meeting. Tonight, uh, being the first day of the month of April, um, I want to quickly guide everyone in attendance into a few things to pay attention to in the month of April that is going to help you win the money game. It is important that we know that making money is not an automatic thing. All right. Shout out to everybody on Instagram. By the way, please forgive my internet. I don't know why it is a little bit slow or maybe it's the software. I don't know where the issue is, but of course, I know that my camera is lagging against my voice. But please just pay attention to the voice. All right. Um, there are some funny settings on my camera a couple of days ago, and I think it's affecting what I look like. <laughs> I do not like what I look like, actually. But then, it's not about my looks. It's about what I have to say. All right, so let's get to class. So I want to lay a foundation for a perspective that I want everybody to follow uh, in this month of April as you intend to make more money in your businesses, as you intend to grow your online, what some people will call Ozu, your online business, and do pretty fine as you go further. All right. And this is very critical because I know that 
the last three months of the year has not been very palatable for a lot of people and um, life's outcome is a function of the inputs that you put into life whatever you are getting today is a product of what you put in yesterday all right so there is really no magic most of the time when we have a particular experience that we do not like it is not village people it is most of the time 99.9 percent of the time our inputs what we do determines what we get what we do determines what happens to our lives and it is very important that we pay attention to this fact if we're going to do very well all right now you may have a little that is not enough and you're trying to grow it you need to focus on what are the things that i need to do in order to increase what i already have you may have nothing you need to focus on what do i need to do in order to start having something for myself as well so these are the things that i would like you to pay attention to as you begin to grow into the month of april all right oh god <laughs> Okay, welcome everybody on YouTube. Uh, sorry, I'm doing shout out to all of you together. Do me a favor on YouTube, hit the thumbs up button, hit the like button, please, please, please. David Obina, it's good to see you again. It's been a while. How are you doing? All right, give me a thumbs up button, all right, and share the video with somebody. It is public, all right, so people can attend. Uh, I decided at the beginning of the year to make family house, uh, I say family house, family meeting public for a while. And I think we are still doing that. Maybe by April, we'll now start making it completely private. But for now, uh, if you're part of the Ziba family or you are on any of my courses on samhava.com, you want to go to Zoom because Zoom has a better advantage. And then when we are done with the teaching and it's time to give announcement and all that little, little interesting things, we'll be doing that inside. Uh, we'll be doing that inside. Um, the zoom all right so you want to be part of the zoom and of course if you are watching on instagram i think you can still enjoy it it's fine all right guys so tonight like i said we're going to be talking about if you want to win in the month of april what are the things that you need to pay attention to i put together a, a few thoughts uh, because what i tried to do uh, a few hours ago was to imagine a persona in front of me and this person has a lot of bills to pay. This person has a lot of things that they want to do with money. But unfortunately, they are not making enough money to meet the needs. And the person comes to me and say, oh, Hi, Dr. Sam, I have this challenge. What can I do to make a lot of money in April? When I say a lot of money compared to what I made in January, February, and March, what do I need to focus on? So I started to think, if I'm going to counsel somebody in this kind of shoe, what do I need to tell the person? What do I need to let the person know in order to be able to grow? And I put together a few things. I think about four major core things that I put together so far. I'm going to take you through each of them and see if I'm going to be pushed or led by the Spirit to teach you more things. But I want you to please pay attention to this. All I'm about to share with you are things you need to focus on for the month of April. Things you need to do in order to win the money game for the month of April. There is a thought that landed on me. And that thought is about two people who have similar advantages or who are exposed to naturally to similar situations but the outcome of the life of one is significantly far better than the outcome of the other one and i started to wonder what could be the possible difference or what could account for that difference in their life outcome um is there anyone here who had a secondary school classmate that you are probably even close but you still know about them, but they are doing better than you. Give me two, two, two in the chat. Maybe your own is a university classmate, but today they are doing better than you. You know, 
this guy was my this lady was my classmate but i know that where he is today he's doing better than me when it comes to money business and all of that give me two 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 fantastic now let's flip the question over how many of you know any classmate of secondary school or university that you still know about today but somehow you seem to be doing better than them give me three 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 if you have such that are your classmate that you know that ah even though you are not where you want to be but where you are you are doing better than one or two of your classmates that you know today now I like the fact that there are people on the side A who have classmates that are doing better than them and there are people on the side B who believe they are doing better than their classmates, all right, who have classmates that they are doing better than, not just because you believe it, but of course because it is the reality. Now, listen, both of you were exposed to the same education at some point in your life. You had the same teacher, you had the same environment, you had the same school. Everything was practically supposed to be the same. But somehow, a few years later, your lives are not the same. Levels changed. All right? The reason is because there are extra things that you did that they were not privileged to do. And the ones that are doing better than you, there are a few things they did that you were not privileged to do yet. And that makes the major difference in your current situation. Okay? So, I want you to know this. That if you don't like your current outcome, your current experience right now, your current income right now, what your business is looking like right now, you don't like it. All you need to do is to find out what are the things I'm doing every day. Because your thoughts produces your habits or your actions. Your actions produces your habits. Habits are actions you take consistently. All right? Sometimes some things are not powerful when you do them once, but they have a very destructive or constructive force when you do them over and over again. So the fact that someone had taught you something and you did or practiced it and it did not seem to work, the problem might not just be the strategy or the information or the things they ask you to do. The problem might be you did it too little. You didn't do it enough time or, or enough times. So ability to be consistent at a certain action is where the power of that action is. So it is very important that you know the things that you are supposed to do daily over and over in order to create the change in your life experience. All right. So now that we have laid the foundation, I want to share a few things that I want you to do in the month of April. Personally, I'm going to be doing this. There are things I already do. I'm paying more attention to them. I want to do them much more in this month of April. And I want you to please write it down. Let others go and eat rice and turkey. Please, to your own rice and turkey, I want you to add this information and this knowledge and it's really, really going to help you. Are you ready? Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? Awesome. 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 Fantastic. Okay, so... Let's go from the foundation. See, if you approach me and you say, Dr. Sam, I want to make X amount of money in the month of April and you need my guide in order to be able to do it. I am going to start counseling you or coaching you from the very foundation of experience. And that foundation accounts for 80% of the ingredients hmm, for creating riches or money and that ingredient is mindset all right it is the most important part 80 percent. if you get it right whatever you do you get results now it's a question of how much things you now do all right but whatever you do you get results if you get the mindset right so 
There is a way I want you to think this month of April. And that's exactly what I'm about to build for you right now. Okay. Mm. I think because this this chair is very is very let me let me sit up. I don't like this one that is making me feel like I want to sleep. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so mindset number one. Please write this down. Abundance exists. Abundance exists. And I deserve abundance. Abundance exists. And I deserve abundance. Abundance exists. And I deserve abundance. Have you written that down? So let me quickly explain it to you. A lot of people do not know the meaning of abundance because they have really never experienced it. Okay? Um, most of the areas we grew up or that most of us still live in are areas of scarcity. There's a lot of scarcity around us. We grew up in scarcity and it's difficult for us to embrace the meaning of the word abundance. We, we don't even know what it means. I'm not talking about the English meaning. I'm talking about the experience meaning of what it means to be an abundance. If you are from Nigeria, you eat food with meat, so you can answer this question. Please, the last meal you ate with meat, how many meat was on top? Oh yeah, put it in the chat. How many meat was on top? One, one, two. One, one, two, gracefully. One, no meat. Oh my God, two, two, one. No meat, half meat, one meat, zero meat. Fantastic. One meat, <laughs> two. One meat, one fish. Okay. Is there anyone here who was taught by the parents that you eat meat last? You eat the food first, then you do the meat after. Anyone like that? All right. Fantastic. We'll have plenty for us. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you a funny experience I had. I had a break one time. I was in secondary school. So I went to visit my sister. My sister had this guy that they were supposed to be dating. They had not started dating then. So the guy was trying to impress. So the guy asked me to come play with him in his house. So I went to his house and he decided to make a goosey with, um, I think it was Eba Gary. And when he served me that goosey, ladies and gentlemen, every time I put the, the swallow, the Eba, inside the goosey, I must pick at least one meat. The number of meat inside that soup was uncountable. I have never seen that before in my entire life. Even after, because every Easter, Christmas, we kill goats in my house. So even after going to steal goats in the night, after they have fried it, I, I go to the kitchen. There are some guys that are watching me now that you used to be like that before God save your soul. So we we'll go to the kitchen and then we load me. I used to load it in the pocket to we'll go and throw banga outside and I'll be eating meat. And the reason we steal meat is because we live in scarcity. If you lived or grew up in a rich house where when you want to eat family stuff, they load meat inside plates, inside bowl or whatever, and you pick as many as you like. You will not steal meat. But because they will give you one and give daddy two. Uh, something is telling you, this meat, why can't I have two? So, back to my story. After I ate that food that that guy gave me, I started feeling like a sinner. Sincerely, for like two days, I felt like I've committed sin. Because how could I have eaten so many meats in one singular meal? All right. <laughs> Oh my God. My first time in Kenya, 
somebody took me. I, I had a tour guide because I had this younger sister that had gone to Kenya. She actually looked like a Kenyan. She had gone to Kenya before. So she linked me up with somebody in Kenya to be taking me around. And the person took me to a particular restaurant called Carnivore. And Carnivore is a very unique style of restaurant. It's actually a steakhouse. So they have all kinds of meats. So the way it operates is that they give you a little flag on your table. You sit on that table, they bring you local plates with fork and knife with wooden andu. All right. So they are these guys that are going to be passing across different tables with a sword that they hung some barbecue meats on. So when they see that your flag is standing, they come to your table and bring a certain meat and say, do you want this meat? So if you say you want, they cut some for you. And then as they are leaving, another one comes with another kind of meat. So when the, the my tour guide said we should go there, I said, ah, you're about to bankrupt them because I will finish all their meat. He said, let's go. So we got there. And then they had all kinds of meat. True, uh, tr truly yours. They had... Um, there, there was uh, beef, there was elephants, there was ostrich, there was crocodile. They had, um, uh, which one? Oh, there, there's antelope, there is ram, there is lamb. They have chicken, they have uh, uh, shrimp. They have all kinds of stuff. They didn't have lion that day because once in a while they have a special, which is lion. So all kinds of meats. And I started eating. I started eating. Me, I was rushing it. Everything that they brought to my table, I tell them, add it, put it, put it, put it. So they kept adding and I kept eating. And for the first time in my life, I think I got high because I was just yawning unnecessarily. I was just saying nonsense. I, didn't, I was so excited because of meat and I could not eat anymore. The person that took me there was still eating. I was like, how are you doing? He said, ah, because I rushed mine. That when you come here, you take it little by little so you can eat for a long time. I look at my stomach. I felt pregnant. It was so big already. I could no longer take any extra meat. <laughs> it was such a crazy experience. Now, why did I behave like that? Because I didn't grow up where we had access to a lot of meat. I grew up where they give us only one or two. All right, only one or two. When I first had a girlfriend and the girlfriend cooked for me and put like three meats. Oh my God, now I am daddy. I am daddy. <laughs> so, from little things like meat, some of us can imagine what it means to live under severe scarcity. Or some of us can, a lot of one or two people here that can relate with all the stories I'm telling because which one is meats they've always had all they wanted all right so <laughs> i met a man several years ago i think i was about 15 years old this guy does not eat anything that is not fresh when it comes to meat he does not eat anything that is not fresh so if he's going to eat goat meat they must just kill that goat meat that day if he's going to eat beef they must just kill that beef that day. They kill beef, kill the cow, then make the beef that day. Whatever meat he's going to eat, it must be fresh. And when they prepare it in his house, if maybe at 7 or 8 p.m. is the last time he's going to eat for the day and he doesn't finish the meal, that's the end. They don't keep any food in the fridge. Whatever he's eating must be freshly done. That's how he likes it. And then when I saw it, I said, this is cool. I said, one day when I grow up, me too, I will not eat anything that is frozen. <laughs> it has to be fresh. I tried it sometimes, but I've stopped that nonsense. So, <laughs> so now, uh, <laughs> the point is, ladies and gentlemen, the things, hmm? I said, I want to walk here, so... Because, of course, he has the money to hire people who make sure that he only eats fresh food. Hmm. That's, that's the incredible thing about these things. There are things that you love, but you don't have enough of. 
and you have learned how to manage like we call it in nigeria you know manage is a is is a scarcity language it's it's not about management or uh, effective utilization of resources that that's not what management really means because when you utilize your resources effectively so that you can multiply that resources but when they say you manage it to <laughs> it means it's not enough <laughs> Is it's a it's a statement of scarcity. So many of us are managing. Raise your hand if you're a manager. <laughs> you are managing. All right. So you say, how are you doing? Ah, we we they manage you. <laughs> so a lot of people are managing. All right. But that is not how life is supposed to be. I had an experience in Lagos. Um, I think last year. Or two years ago, this was 2022. Yes, it was two years ago. All right, I had some experience in Lagos, and um, we were going to go to I think it was Cameroon. We were going to, and a lot of people came into Lagos because they were going to fly with me to Cameroon, so they were going to stay in the same house with me. But the bed and the spaces for sleeping in the house was not enough, so I decided to go and lodge in an hotel. So that some people can stay in my bedroom, which was pretty big. And then, you know, I can just leave the house and they can have more space to stay. So I went to VI in Lagos and I went straight to Radisson Blue, which the minimum room at that time was about 150,000 Naira for a night. All right. And I went there happily. I parked my car, took my normal laptop bag, went inside, said, I'd, I'd like a room. They was like, do you have reservation? I said, no, I don't have reservation. I just need a room. So they were like, ah, we're sorry. We're fully booked. I said, eh? all these hotels, as big as you are, you are fully booked. Ah. So I stepped out. I was wondering what's going on. Who is booking this hotel? So I walked to Intercontinental. Those of you who know via Intercontinental. And I got to Intercontinental, a very large hotel, very big. I said, this one I cannot be fully booked. And I got in. And interestingly, the concierge was one of my students. When he saw me, he said, Dr. Sam, you're welcome. I said, ah, thank God. He said, no, let me come over. I told carry woman now. <laughs> and so I forecast. But then it was only me. So, so I was like, I said, oh, that's cool. He said, you need a room? Do you have reservation? I said, no. He said, ah, sir, we're sorry. We're fully booked. I said, ah, who's booking it? I, I didn't know when I, you know, reacted. I was like, who's booking what? Um, but people are saying there's no money. There's no money. In Nigeria, how come people are booking 250k hotel? Who is booking it? Who is booking it? So, what you do not have enough of, please note this now. Someone else is wasting it on things that are technically useless or stupid. Alright? Please note that there are people who spend your entire one year salary on stupid things so why is this mindset important please don't approach april thinking that there is no money in town did you hear me do not approach april thinking there is no money in town everywhere is hard they will still buy, excuse me, they will still buy G-Wagon. Everywhere is hard. Can I shock you? Can I shock you? If you live in Lagos, try one day, if you have international passports, carry bag, empty bag or something, or put some clothes inside the bag and go to international airport. Because you carry passport and you carry bag, then go allow you enter like you did fly. Go through different airlines and see the number of crowd of people that are traveling. If you want to do extra whatever, go and queue and look at where business class is. All of those crowd of people are paying millions, several millions to travel. And when you meet them, somebody standing in business class said, Ah, I ah things ah this economy is hard, ah, though things are hard. <laughs> Things are hard. All right. Things are not hard. Because there are people who are still using your entire house rent to eat dinner. All right. And they are saying things are hard. 
things are not hard. There is a abundance of money everywhere and you deserve that abundance. Okay? The way we act when it comes to money especially is based on how we perceive uh, our perception of resources or availability of resources. If you think there is not a lot of money, we will begin to act like there is not a lot of money. And it will determine the kind of things we will do, the kind of places we will go, the kind of uh, clothes we will wear, the kind of people we will relate with and everything. So that's the first thing that I want you to change. Work on your mind. So I want you to say this with me. I deserve abundance. I deserve abundance. I deserve abundance. I do not live in scarcity. I do not live in scarcity. I live in abundance. I have more than enough. I give to people. I give to people. I give to people. I meet people's needs. My own needs are automatically met. I am free to dream. I am free to live. I'm free to expand. I'm free to become all I've ever desired. I deserve abundance. I deserve abundance. All right? That's how I want you to think. All right? That's how I want you to think. And there is this assignment that I usually give you. Go to places where luxury lives in your town. The most luxurious hotel in your town. Go there. Go to their restaurant. Sit down there. Dress well so that they can address you as sir and ma. Eh? Don't dress like... Uh, some of you, you see... <laughs> Let me chip this in, ladies and gentlemen. Please, dressing is not a reflection of how much money you have. All right? Dressing is not a, refl a reflection of how much money you have. Dressing is a reflection of the perception of yourself. The way you dress is a proof of how you see yourself. You don't need to become a millionaire in cash in the bank before you dress well. You start dressing well before the millions appear in your bank. Dressing well is not wearing designer. If I want to know a poor man, I will see him wearing Fendi, uh, Louis Vuitton, uh, Gucci. Give me names. That's a poor man. I've worn them before too. But now I know better. Because you know there are levels of wealth that people want to appear wealthy. They want to make a statement. They, 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 they've they lived in so much scarcity for a long time in their life that the, the perception of their value is tied to the brand that they wear. They are just walking billboard. Anytime I see anybody wearing a Louis Vuitton shirt that has LV, LV everywhere, it's a billboard. It's a marketer. Marketer is a good potential, but I mean, you know the kind of marketer where they talk. You should wear concealed brand, but look clean, sharp, and good. There are few wearables that define a very wealthy pe person. Number one is watch. All right? That's number one. Not the shirt we wear or the sneaker we wear or the whatever. <laughs> All right? That's the first thing. The second thing is the simplicity of the dress. It could be corporate. It could be casual. Excuse me. But when you see the simplicity, you see luxury in simplicity. It is not about the logo. So what am I saying in essence? Stop wearing logo. Did you hear me? Stop wearing logo. And some of you, 
you are planning that oh when small money touch my hand me too i go go show them hey we'll carry fendi carry this one it's it's it's, it's a poor man stuff I know they read. I used to wear those things. So those of you know me in 2021, when I come to when I come to family meeting like this, you see Givenchy. Another family meeting, you see Fendi. Another family you see Lacoste. Now so I go, they wear the thing. Me, I didn't even know better. Me, I just felt uh, it's a nice thing to wear. Rich people wear it. Until I started to roll with rich people. So I started flying first class. And nobody in first class except maybe one nigga looking guy that will just wear some unnecessary. Even me, when I look at the person, I say, mm, this person, no, 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 you don't belong here. All the people that belong there, you see them simple, clean, nice suits, well ironed. Everything is just simple and beautiful. Very, very clean. Okay? So as a guy, Never go out with unironed clothes. Please buy charcoal iron if there's no electricity in your area. Always iron it. Hmm? Iron it. And for God's sake, whatever you do, please smell good. Okay? Try and smell good. In two ways. Your body and your mouth. Just help us. Eh? Okay? <laughs> so, the way you dress is very, very important. So, you have to make sure that you dress very well when you go to those uh, premium places. So, when you go there, dress well, experience everything that they have to offer. If you can afford to pay for something, they pay for it. If you cannot afford, just enjoy the experience. Know that people that are your mates, that are younger than you, are paying for this in that one example. There was a time that I came to Nigeria. And then I went to a particular hotel, one of the biggest hotels in Lagos. And I wanted to lodge. I think I made reservations ahead. But they said I had arrived too early. It was not check-in time. So that I, I needed to wait. So I said, okay, let me go have breakfast. Maybe by the time I'm done with the buffet... They will probably, you know, <laughs> uh, thank you, Timmy Tyre. So, you know, maybe they will probably be able to get me room. So the, the lady, the concierge that was attending to me said, oh, don't worry. Um, I will try and see if anybody checks out, I'll get you the room so you can get in. I said, oh, thank you. So I went to eat. I spent a lot of time at the restaurant. I came back. It was already about 11 a.m. So I went back there and I was still talking to somebody. Then I saw a young man. He was also carrying AirPod Max, the same Apple AirPod that I was using, not the big one. Yeah. So they now handed him a key. So I told the lady, ah, why are they checking this guy in? And me, I'm still here. I was like, ah, he's paying for the duplex. I said, you people have duplex in this hotel. He said, yes. I said, hey. So, duplex are available. Say yes. So, if I'm paying for duplex, you check me in Rana. Ah. He said, yes. I said, hey. Excuse me. Can I see the duplex? He said, why not? No problem. So, he called somebody. They gave the person a key. And then I followed them. When I entered the duplex, my God. My God. Oh, my there's some luxury in that Lagos. So, so we came back down and... My room, where I be one collect, is, uh, I think it's 180K. They are giving me this discount for 160K per night. So, and I said, hey, please, how much is this duplex? I said, it's 600K. But me, they can give me for 500K. When I say duplex, it's just one room. It's just one room on top. You have sitting room downstairs. You have dining. You have kitchen. You have your staircase inside and everything. 600K a night. So they'll give me for 500K. I look at that lady. I look at myself. I thought about my account balance. Anyway. I spent three days in the duplex. <laughs> I spent... I spent I spent three days in the duplex. <laughs> so, the idea is that the cheap place that me, I was thinking I was Odogu, 
is so cheap that a boy that doesn't look, I don't know what that boy is, maybe he's doing Yahoo or Google, I don't know what he's doing, but he paid for the place and then they checked him in. So I said, if this guy can pay for it, he owe me millionaire mentor, uh, uh, a multi talented serial killer, I mean, serial enterprise. I said, give me two, why are we not working? If we cannot stay in. So they, they, <laughs> they checked me in. <laughs> It was such an experience, really. I really enjoyed my time there. I made a lot of content. Yeah, because I got to make the money back. That's that's the important part. All right. So, it's important to dress well and go to these places. Some of you can go to... Let me make I tell you where I went to. Radisson Blue, Ikeja Jiare. Go there. Not Radisson alone. No. The one that has blue. Tell them you want to see their duplex. Enter inside. Lay on the bed. Take selfie. Shara, shara. You know, it's good. Just feel it. No problem. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is abundance everywhere. This month, I want you to believe that I deserve abundance. All right. There are people. <laughs> they, said, you'll see the killer. they said there are people who are doing exactly what you're doing, but they are making hundred times more money from the same thing than what you are making. There was a lady I decided to mentor late last year. So I had a session with her, just one session. And she's a phenomenal event host. All these MC people, yeah? Because she has um, anchored about two or three events that I attended. Fantastic person. Lively. Everything. All right? But this person is broke. So I'm like, okay, I can count one, two or three people who excuse me, I've seen their work. They are not as good as you. But they have so much money, so much clout from this same gift. If I want you to anchor an event for me, how much would you charge? And she was afraid to charge me. She was afraid to give me a price, I say, maybe hundred k. I say hundred k. Who do you know is one of the top earners in your industry? She gave me a couple of names. How much are they charging? So I said, please, why can't you charge the same amount? You deliver the same thing. Why can't you charge the same amount? All right. So the first thing is that she does not even believe that she deserves millions. She does not believe she deserves millions. Can I tell you a secret? I think this is the first time I will say this. I've never said it out. The first day I built a sales funnel for a client. And they offered me over 4 million naira. I felt like a thief. I was afraid to collect the money. The person made the transfer about three times. When they sent the first money that was over a million naira, I felt like maybe FCC will come to my house the next day. Because I cannot imagine somebody paying me four million. Then, no, for four nail. Four nail that I've done for people for free. Like, serious free. I've done it for people for free. But why would somebody pay me that kind of money? While we were negotiating the 4 million person, another lady called me, said, ah, uh, sent a message actually to WhatsApp and said, I got your number from this particular person. I want to do funnel. Please, how much would you charge? I said, ah, funnel is 500,000. Person said, please, can I pay 400? Please, please, please pay 400. I said, hey, ladies and gentlemen, all I had in my account is 27,000 naira, which was even community... Then contribute the money for me. Like a group of friends. This one transfer 5K. And that's what they gather the 27K. Now somebody is begging me to collect 400 k I felt like a fraud. In 2020, a group of guys from the US, no, the UK, different countries, UK, US, Kenya, they were talking to me. And then they said they wanted me to do something for them and all of that. It revolves around funnel and a webinar. And then they said they were going to pay me, uh, how much was it? Oh, uh, is it $10,000 or something? Ah, 
I was afraid. In 2019, a pharmaceutical company wanted me to help them with some marketing work. Because they had a product they just launched and all of that. And then, you know, these people did $7 billion the previous year. In 20, this was 2020, so it was 2019 that this thing came up. When it was time to charge them, I felt like a fraud too. I feel like, ah, only this. So, the problem is there are people who charge 10, 20 times, 100 times sometimes for the same work that you can do. Sometimes you're even better than them. But because of the environment they live in, they are within abundance. So they don't feel like a fraud. If you are listening to me and you have not made your first million, one of the reasons is because you are in scarcity. You do not believe you deserve that million. So I want you to tell yourself every day, whatever amount you want to make, I deserve it. 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 All right? Keep telling yourself, I deserve it. I deserve it. Abundance. I deserve it. 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 Okay? So that is how you're going to win. Number one, mindset. Remember I said mindset accounts for 80% of the things that you need. All right? Now, it's also based on physical environment. Like I said, the U.S. is a very interesting place. If there's any Nigerian or Cameroonian or Kenyan who breaks into the U.S. market and is still living in Africa and you're able to charge the kind of amounts that those people charge, you're going to become very, very huge. Now, in my line of business, I've seen people who live in the U.S. who makes millions of dollars a month. And the same thing that I charge you people, you people, my God, we judge all of you. I will charge you hundred dollar. I will still beg you. I will talk, 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 talk. Use all the marketing gimmick on top of your head. Some of you will still pay and come and disturb my life. Some of you will never pay. They, I've seen these people. I've seen all the things they do. They will charge their people ten thousand dollars, fifteen thousand dollars for this exact same thing. How did I know? I have bought their courses. And I watch, I'm like, eh? Is this what? Ah. So, <laughs> the difference is the market. So, our market has high level scarcity. Their market has high level abundance. So, it is very much easy. Can I shock you? When I was coming back to Dubai, I was creating a product and I wanted to charge a certain amount. I think it was, uh, let's say I want to charge something like 500 dirhams per person. Then I saw somebody that is not even doing half of what I'm doing. The person is only doing the mindset parts of what I wanted to teach. And this person is charging almost 12,000 per person. From 500 to 12,000. Eh, excuse me, what's, what's going on here? Eh? What is going on here? <laughs> so, I had to start telling myself, I deserve more. I deserve more. I deserve more. Why? So, please, you have to keep saying it. You have to keep telling yourself. So, this is the first thing that I want you to pay attention to. So, once again, tell me, tell yourself, I deserve abundance. I deserve abundance. I deserve more than I'm getting right now. All right? So stop thinking scarcity. Start thinking abundance. So that's the first mindset. Please write this down. Number two, very, very important. All the money you will ever make in your life, all the money you will ever make this year, all the money you will ever make this new month, April, they are all in other people's pockets. Any money you ever need, they are all in people's pockets. 
sum, what does that mean? I mean your nest rent already exists in other people's pocket. Uh, how many of you like luxury cars? Me, I like luxury cars, sir. Yeah. And literally, I'm wondering what people like in G-Wagon. I just say, I might like it. I may not like it. But maybe I should buy like two first. Then I will know if I like it or not. So I'm thinking of maybe buying one G-Wagon maybe next month. Maybe buy another one by my birthday. Or just, eh, eh, just, eh, me back is my, like, my major car that I want to buy, you know, like that. So you can name the luxury car that you like, you know. You know, think abundance, ladies and gentlemen. No be the money with your bank account to go take buy them. Feel free to dream. Now waiting with the talk with that. I say now my now my campus and they drive G Wago. The people with the driver get two heads or got dream. Put it in the chat. Which one you like? So I was now thinking. So the reality, ladies and gentlemen, is if I want to buy two G Wagon, the money to buy them already exists. And they are in people's pockets. Whatever you want. Eh? Did somebody write Toyota Corolla? My God, we bind you. I bind, I cast you in Jesus' name. Let your mind open. <laughs> Dr. Moses, why is he locks? Why is he not, uh, uh, what do they call this one? Cyber truck of Tesla? Ah, your money, that money you need is in people. So I want you to think about it. How much do you want to make in the month of April? Give me figures in the chat. Everybody, give it, give it, give it, give it. Activate it, activate it, activate it. Give me in the chat, give me in the chat. How much you want to make? April, how much you want to make? One seven five thousand euro, hundred dollar, hundred thousand dollars, four million naira. I believe any any amount we know get currency na naira I go call for you. By the way, naira is is, is doing some tabio bio recently. It's good time for you to buy dollar with it <laughs> because you realize in a spring naira they do when if when that spring reach down when the thing go do piam. Hey, some people's spinal chest will break. Oh, it's not from my mouth you will hear it. <laughs> so that amount that you're typing for me i want you to tell me i want you to type it my that amount already exists in other people's pockets my five thousand dollar already exists in other people's pockets my x amount already exists in other people's pocket i want you to do me a favor find a way to write that thing down somewhere excuse me and paste it somewhere you will see it every day. Maybe at the back of your door. If you used to close your door. <laughs> Excuse me. If you have a mirror, stick it to your mirror. Because you must use mirror every day. Especially if you're a lady. Stick it somewhere you will see it. My X amount already exists in other people's pockets. So write it down somewhere where you want to, see, you want to be able to see it every day. Every day. If you want to be crazy like me, you will set an alarm and type it as the message of your alarm. Let that alarm ring every day and put that message in front. My $1 million already exists in other people's pockets. So the problem, if you need money right now, is that you left your money in other people's pockets. You didn't go and collect it. So ladies and gentlemen, let's take this further. Write this down. Everybody you meet, everybody you meet, either online or physically, has your money in their pocket. So all of you right now that are listening to me, my money is in your pocket. All of you right now that are listening to me, my money is in your pocket. If you're with me on YouTube and you have not hit the thumbs up button, please do that right away. And hit the subscribe button if you're yet to subscribe. But please give me a thumbs up. 
it's important. The reason you do this so that algorithm can let other people know and through you, just because you did thumbs up, somebody is going to know and somebody is going to watch and they're going to learn something that will change their life. And everyone will record it that because you like, someone was able to see something that changed their lives. It's important. Please do that for me right away. You know, you didn't pay for this class. Hmm? One of the thank you you can do is to do that thumbs up and share when necessary. All right. Okay. Now, everyone you meet has your money in their pocket. So I want to give you a couple of constructive questions that I want you to ask yourself every time you meet somebody. Very important. Question number one. How much of my money is in this person's pocket? How much of my money is in this person's pocket? Like we will say for Nigeria, how much of my money did this person pocket? How much of my money is in... <laughs> Somebody said, I don't they collect my money from my pocket since last year. I go collect them for the next 10 years. so Because <laughs> what you have paid me from my money is less than 1%. <laughs> Some of you, my money that is in your pocket is still in other people's pockets. You've not collected it to put it in your own pocket so I can collect my own. <laughs> so question one, how much of my money is in this person's pocket? Question number two, how do I get it from his pocket into mine? How do I get it from his pocket into mine? Question three. What value can I offer this person? What value can I offer this person? Question three is actually the answer to question two. <laughs> what value can I offer? this person see every time you meet somebody you must be thinking about value yeah by the way your money is also in my pocket just that some of you don't know how to collect it your money is also in my pocket mine is also in your pocket so how much of my money is in your pocket or how much of your money is in my pocket how do you collect your money from my pocket? And even your family members, your money is also in their pockets. And some of you have been collecting your money from your parents' pockets. <laughs> okay, so what value can I offer this person? So the key to being able to monetize relationship is your ability to answer the question of what value can I offer this person that I just met? Everyone at one point or another will have a need in their lives. And the fact that somebody is getting their need met does not mean that that is the best way they can be served. There are possibilities of better services do you get me? So the fact that someone is getting breakfast delivered does not mean they can have a better breakfast. Oh, let me use lunch because breakfast means something else in Nigeria. All right. Doesn't mean they can have a better lunch. Okay. So it's now the question of this person, what is the part of their lives that I can improve? Either directly or indirectly. Indirectly mean by simply being a middleman 
that can recommend a better solution to them or a better product to them. For example, if somebody has a problem and you know about the problem, you can take it upon yourself to research solutions with proof to that problem. Then you can recommend it to the person. Let me give you a very funny example. One day I went to eat at a buka in Dera Market in Dubai. And after I've eaten at that buka, because I had to take one and a half liter of water, I've eaten very big. My stomach will now come out, look like I have pot belly. Actually, I have some pot belly. All right, so... I was now walking on the road. That's how one, maybe he's from Pakistan or India. I don't know where the guy is from. Just came. He said, fine, man. You very fine. I like you. Only one problem you have. I said, what is it? I was walking. He's walking with me. He said, only one problem. He said, your stomach is big. I give you something. You take this. In three weeks, your stomach will go down like mine. He said, you very fine. You, I give you my sister. I said, ah, who they ask you for sister? So immediately, ladies and gentlemen, I started to feel like, ah, two, three weeks, stomach go down. Ah. It's a good something. I said, what do you do? Say, you come with me. I show you something. You just take two times a day and then it's fine. You use it to take tea. And ah. I've told some of you this story before. I parted with over a thousand dirhams that day. Buying all kinds of herbs that the guy was just mixing, mixing for me anyhow. Well, it didn't work, Sha. <laughs> <laughs> he was able to share collect money from me. But what if you are able to get somebody something that works? All right. Remember, he started by complimenting me. So I gave him little attention. The moment he got my attention, he now went into your compliments, sir, would have been perfect if only this thing was not there. But this is good because I have the perfect solution for you. The guy did not even... He, he, do you know what he did? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He didn't tell me he's selling those things. He said he will show me. After he walks, he will give me his number. I can call him and dash him anything. He, he said he's not collecting any money. He will just take me to the shop and help me buy. I will pay. He will mix it for me. And then I'll go. If he walks, then I'll call him and pay him anything I like as gifts. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. do you get me all right so always ask yourself what value can you offer this person every time you meet somebody because that is how you will be able to collect your money from their pockets all right what value can you offer this person when somebody saying that juju he used no be juju he was able to use good copywriting stuff <laughs> good copywriting stuff <laughs> all right that's number two did you get it so you want to answer these questions as often as possible question number one is how much of my money is in this person's pocket you necessarily cannot tell but you want to make sure you get as much of your money as possible from everybody's pocket. All right, there are about 500 of you watching me across platform live right now. And it's going to be over a thousand plus by tomorrow. My money day on a pocket. And I will keep collecting, collecting, collecting. Yes. Why? Because I will give you value in exchange for it. Do you get me? So that is the first one. The second one is, how do I get it out of my pocket into my... You have to exchange a form of value so that they pay for that value. Now, you can create a value, you can innovate a value, or you can simply distribute a value. You can create, you can innovate, or you can distribute. You can create... You can innovate and you can distribute. You can create, you can innovate, or you can distribute. Create a value means not something, a product that you made yourself. Innovate is a product that already exists, but you improved on it. Um, 
The third one is pick someone else's product and offer it to them. All right. So those are the three ways you can easily do that. Now, number three mindset. The first mindset, like I said, is abundance exists and you deserve abundance. Number two is your money is in other people's pockets. All right. And number three, this is very important. This is very, very important. This is exactly where I'm going. All right. Although I'm going to get to number four, but number three and four, are practically I can tie them together. Number three, write this down. I must meet new people every day. I must meet new people every day. This month of April. I must meet new people every day, either online or physically. I must meet new people every day and find a way to give them a form of value. Here's what I want you to do in the month of April. Tell yourself every morning when you wake up, I must meet at least one person today and I must find a way to give some form of value to that person. If you do this every day for the next 30 days of this month, you are going to have at least 30 new people in your life that you are collecting your money from their pocket. New people every day. You can meet 10 people, you can meet 100 people, you can meet 200 people. I taught you, those of you on Urgent 2K class, how to get to meet strangers from different parts on Instagram. I broke it down for you. I gave you an example and people have been following me because of that. Some of you are trying it. Some of you have never tried it. My God, we judge you. You have never tried it. But don't complain you don't have money if you don't have people. Because the mantra for the month of April is the more customers you have, the more money you make. Write it down. The more customers you have, the more money you make. The more people you meet, the more customers you have. The more customers you have, the more money you make. The more people you meet, the more customers you have. The more customers you have, the more money you make. All right, so I give you people. Ah, this one is a bit. Let's clear this. People. All right. Customer. Money. All right, the more people you meet. The more customers you have, the more customers you have, the more money you make. The more people you meet, the more customers you have, the more customers you have, the more money you make. So this month of April is a month of going for customers, searching for customers. Turn all your contact to customers. Turn all your cost, uh, contact to customers. Somebody say, what about introverts? How do we break that jinx? Very, very simple. Very, very simple. Number one. Money does not know introvert or extrovert. Money answer to the person that can give value. They don't make introvert money. You know when you go to a restaurant, they have vegan and uh, uh, others. Uh, uh, they know they do that one. Money is money. All right? So if you want money, you are going to need to do a few things differently. Now, you don't have to be outside there. You can do copywriting, which means you can meet people through chat conversation. All right, you can meet people through chat conversation. You don't need to go out. Um, 
a chronic introvert, but almost none of you will believe it. But I had to learn to be public. I had to learn to speak. I had to learn to teach. All these things I'm doing, I learned them. The only gift I know I was born with is drumming. You know, I was born with that one. But everything else, I had to learn. As at SS3, that's end of my senior secondary school, I cannot stand in front of a crowd of 15 people or 10 people. I cannot. The first time they gave me a manual to teach in front of about 10 to 15 people, I was shaking. It looked like my whole life was over. I was sweating. I was almost farting. I had to hold the fat in. You know, every I was vibrating on my stand. I felt all the sins I've ever committed in my life has come to find me out that day. To read simple manual, I was shaking. That is me. Oh. I could not. Fast forward to today. I don't know that crowd that cannot speak in front. I don't know. It's never the number of crowd or even the people in the crowd. I don't care who they are. Politicians, oh, uh, man of God, so oh, man of the world, oh, any kind of crowd, I will speak. Because I learned how to do them. Okay, I learned how to do them. Some of you are born natural with those grace. Congratulations. But I'm a proof that you can learn anything. Once you put your mind to it, you can learn it. The first time I heard my voice on a radio cassette recorder, I want to enter the ground. I shouted, Who be this one? Who be this one? Who they talk? Who they talk? Let me, let me record the thing. Because my papa buy one cassette recorder, so... Carry on like I said, I'll start recording on top. I could not believe. When we do children program, they bring all these camera people. And when we are reading memory verse, when it's my turn, I do like this. I don't want to hear. I don't want to see. I can't believe. I can't listen to myself. Today, my number one mentor is me. When you're saying people, you know, people watch different speakers. I watch myself. I make notes when I'm watching my... This family meeting that we are teaching, I will go and watch it again. I will now become my own teacher. That is how much I've evolved. I still have strong accent. Unfortunately, I'm so used to it that I don't even hear it. And I don't care. I make money. And that's what's important. You that have fine accent, how much are you making? Until somebody comes and tell me that is when they speak, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I that. that's what makes them moment. I go go learn them too. Make me try to twist my tongue. But I know some of the richest guys in this world has nothing to do with their English or how smooth. Just make a lot of money. People will be clapping. Have you seen that video of one uh, um, one political leader like that that just was saying, uh, uh, and people start clapping? Hey! So when you get money, even when you say nonsense, people will clap. There's one man in one country like that in Africa. He was talking, I was saying, Bulaba, Bala, Blue, and people are clapping. Yeah, they even made him president. Just have money. So, ladies and gentlemen, you might be an introvert, but that is not your destination. That is your current location. You can switch. There is a thing called ambivert, which is people who choose to become extrovert when they need to be, even though they are naturally introverted. Okay? So, pocket your introverts, because introvert no go pay your bill. Carry yourself, meet people. Now, customer, they give people money. Even a shower, they get customer. Hey, I don't put rhyme. Tweet that, tweet that. Now, customer, they give people money. Even a shower, they get customer. So, in April, the number of customers you have is what determines how much you will make. It's not rocket science. The number 
of customers you have is what determines how much you make. So go on an adventure, meet new people every day. Now, when you meet them, find a way to deliver value to them. Somebody sent me a message today. He bought, uh, there's a course that I released, I think last week. It's called The Money Code. It's a 2,000-year-old value. Those of you in Urgent 2K, I taught you. A lot of you made money. There's a guy that has been disturbing me. He said he made money. He told his wife to try it. His wife to try it. His wife to made money and all of that. You know, that crowdfunding thing that I taught you guys. So, somebody now sent me a message. said, eh, eh, he has gone through the thing. I said, go and implement. Say, there's nobody to... Ah, you have WhatsApp. Say, yes. Eh, you have people on WhatsApp. Follow the process. Now, say, eh, the people on their WhatsApp, they are even depending on her. Ah, and all of those things. I was just like, ah. You have something that works like crazy. Your only problem is you don't have customers <laughs> to give you money. <laughs> so and I said, but you have me on your WhatsApp already. You know, the next thing the lady did, he now sent me my own code. And I said, to prove, say the thing where I teach the work, I carry my phone, enter my GT, type money, send money to him. You know work? You work. So you're broke today, guys, because you have too many friends and zero customer. You decrease. Send your friends away. Any friend that cannot turn to customer, is that one a good friend? Well, lie, my God, we judge you. If you don't convert your friends to customer, if you don't start building customers, a lot of you have friends. I love ladies. Ladies, God bless you people. When you guys want to marry, you will tax all your friends to buy a be clothes that you bought for 10000 They will pay 300000 for it. I should be, they customize all of them. These guys that are crazy, they want the groom to buy suit for them to wear as groom men. But ladies, no, we'll tax all of them. They will go and look for money. Razak, he said only one person saw it because you have only one customer. You have only one customer. A lot of you are my friends. You have my WhatsApp. You can't even sell anything to me. Are you normal? Like Mr. Macaroni will say, are, are, you, are, are you normal? <laughs> Turn me to a customer. Turn me to a customer. Don't focus on only me. Oh, because imagine if all of you turn me to customer. How many things I won't buy now? I'm just saying I'm a representation of other people in your life. You can turn myself and people that look like me in your life to customers. So how do you turn people to customer? You have to add some form of value to them. Number one, write this down. True content. Number two, true education. So educate people. Give people something they do not know before. Educate them. Number three, this is the cheapest one. Compliment people. Compliment people. If you don't know how to compliment people, use chat GPT. If you want to compliment a lady, ask chat GPT to give you prompts that can compliment and make a lady blush. Tell him to give you 100 different compliments for an African lady. Add all the ladies in your WhatsApp to a broker's group or list like I taught you. Those of you on Urgent 2K course or Money Code. Send them a compliment every morning. 
you are a lady too send to lady you are a guy send to guy send to lady lady male but let the list be based on gender just drop it every morning can i shock you this morning i sent a couple of people i think about two or three people um happy easter message yesterday morning actually one is my mom and then um, i went into canva pick a template instead of everybody sending happy easter you know what i did i edited an happy easter stuff i put the name of the person with a personal message the name i called them put it and then i edited it i downloaded it and i sent instead when they open it, something inside will speak. This is personal. The father of George Bush, George W. Bush, I think it's George H. Bush, before he won American presidency, he sent Christmas cards to 120 or 100,000 people or whatever, and he signed it by hand. It's crazy. So compliments weakens the art of the fiercest warrior. If you know how to compliment people, you will win their attention easily. I am teaching you how to convert strangers or friends to customers. Content, number one. Educate people, number two. Number three, compliments. compliments everybody on your whatsapp list is not your friends they are your customers if you are in any whatsapp group all the people on that group are your customers start to send broadcasts start to use status to compliment people even your parents are your customers some of you your parents are thinking of buying a land or a house what stops you from bringing the broker that brings the deal to them and you stitch up your five percent two percent three percent ten percent depending what stops you so compliment them number four entertainment entertainment and i've said this over and over and over you cannot go wrong by being a meme poster be posting meme on your status you'll be shocked how fast your account will grow how many people will start viewing your status because you're always making them laugh because of the things you post They will not, uh, Dan Josh, I like the comment you say, so most of your parents don't discuss such, such with you because you have never positioned yourself as a go-to authority about it. There is no way you'll be setting ring light and be talking about real estate every day. That either your dad or mom is thinking about land and they won't sit you down. As a subject matter expert, say, hey, this thing, where you they do? All this wise, even though you still broke, now we see they feed you. Will they think of one land, though, you get place where... There are people who buy one expensive thing or the other every week on your WhatsApp contact. But they will never buy through you because you never position yourself as somebody who has a plug or who is selling that thing. You've never done it. Do you know why someone like me, if I start selling real estate, which I'm going to be starting by this month of April, by the way, people will buy from me because I have such a network of people but i've never except once in 2019 if i'm correct try to promote anything real estate so if i start doing it people who are connected to me will now say ah we already know him we trust him let's ask him but guess what until i start posting it they will keep buying from someone else You can get meme on ChatGPT. 
it's incredible. Maybe one of these days I dedicate to teach you how to do that. But nonetheless, I have something a lot more better for you. The final one here, number one is content, number two is education, number three is compliments, number four is entertainment, and number five is information. A lot of you underestimate the power of information. Is there any Nigerian here that follows Tunde Ed Nuts? Type Tunde. If you follow Insta blog, type Insta blog. You see the number of followers those guys have. You see the number of views that they get. You see the number of engagement that they get. What do they post? Information. Information. So you can post valuable information in a combination of niches. Health niche, wealth niche, politics, core information, global information, local information. Post it on your status. There are places you can subscribe to newsletters that break these things down. You can do a summary. As a matter of fact, you can carry the link into ChatGPT. Tell him to write you a summary and break that summary into something you can post on your status. And then put the link for them to go and read more. You are not even doing your own blog. All you are just doing is you're providing important information to people who need them. Very soon, people will come and be asking you about things to verify information. You are giving value to them because they are going to be your customer. Or oh God, your money did their pockets. Your money is in their pocket, so you have to give value to them. You have to give value to them. You have to give value to them. Before I go to number four tonight, I want to blow some of your mind by interviewing somebody. This is one of my very, very, very good sons and students that is doing phenomenal things already. And... Um, <clears throat> I spoke with him about an hour before class. And like, I'd like you to come and share your story because I want people to learn a thing or two from some of the things that you've been able to do. Now, before I bring him up to discuss some of these things that he has been able to do based on these things that we are discussing, if you have not learned anything from all I've shared so far, please realize this. The more people you know or you meet, the more customers you have. The more customers you have, the more money you make. Any amount you want is possible if you have the people who can buy things from you or through you. You need customers to make money. You need customers to make money. Those of you who are on the Urgent 2K class, I told you that I was going to help you get enough followers on social media, yeah? Now, I have about two people that have been able to do phenomenal things on social media. Now, the person I'm about to interview, as some of his video have... 2 million views, 3 million views, 4 million views. As hundreds of thousands of followers in a very short period. Has generated over 25,000 and above customers from this. Without spending a dime. He's not running at. He's making incredible money from monetizing this attention. Alright? And I just want him to share... A bit of his story. Let, let me bring him up. Are you there, Yuli? Uh, where is that video? Since you have video, I, I want people to see thy face. Okay, let me bring it up. All right, fantastic. Please. Let me see. Ah, your video is not showing. No. Off it and on it again. Okay, it's coming. Huh? So, how did you how did you get started? People on YouTube will not be able to see your face, but at least they'll be able to hear your voice. So they will manage that one for, for today. That's why I said Zoom is better. They did not hear me. Thought I was joking. Uh, all right, sir. 
Okay, good evening everyone, good evening sir. Thank you so much for the opportunity. All right, um, I started creating content a few years ago, uh, about three years now, uh, but everything started picking up last year. Um, okay, majorly started in uh, June, precisely. But I started creating good content since January, or February, or February last, last year. And I started improving after taking a course and, you know, in June, I got my first viral video. I think uh, um, it was on the day that um, uh, our president, Nigeria president, was sworn into office. And um, I created that content, posted it, and it gave me about 300,000 views in wow. less than in less than 24 hours. It gave me about 300,000 views. And um, within the next few days into weeks, it was clocking over 600,000 already. Wow. So yeah, uh, that's how I started. Um, today, today we've got millions of views um, and over 180,000 followers. Wow. Wow. Every time I'm interviewing somebody from Nigeria, network has a way of running them away. Okay, he's back. So, like, how many people have you been able to connect with through this uh, content stuff that you do? So, um, I've been able to, first of all, when it comes to leads, I've been able to generate over 100,000 leads uh, within the past um, wow. six months. Wow. I've been able to generate over 100,000 leads. And um, also, um, in sales, I've, I've generated millions of Naira in sales. Uh, and also in commissions as well, millions of naira in commissions. And you so did not spend money on running ads? I did not spend any money on running ads. I just spent a few minutes scripting a video, shooting it, editing and posting. And that's it. So, wow. uh, yes, that's what I did. And when it comes to relationships, um, content creation has really helped me build a solid relationship uh, with a few persons, people like a Coco Doctor, our very own Dr. Sam Harvard, uh, Kenny Mokoye, and the rest of them, you know. I've been able to meet with people like um, uh, Coach Ine Joseph, a, a lot of people, a lot of people. And I'm still meeting with a lot of people. People meet me and, you know, they just find this honor in just connecting with me. And content creation gave me this opportunity. Uh, it's a big thing. Uh, beyond just making money, it has really made me valuable. Uh, in fantastic 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 i love your story so much and i love the things that you've been able to do with it and um i asked you a very simple question earlier and i want to ask in front of everybody is it possible if i give you somebody to mentor can the person get a million view and ten thousand followers in one month it is extremely, it is very possible with consistency and, you know, hard work, it is extremely possible, especially consistency. That has the major thing. Fantastic. Okay. So, so this is the deal. <laughs> what I've promised you guys, um, it's, it's arriving. Now, there's something I want to do as an extra. I didn't want to just unleash you, lay on you. Um, there is also one of my, one of my protégés that um, is doing is doing very well on YouTube. He just crossed a million a million subscriber recently. He got his golden plaque, and I think he's now about one point five million subscribers. It's crazy. He has done almost one billion views on YouTube. It's it's very 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 incredible so I, I also want those who want to learn youtube from him although i've already made an arrangement for people to learn youtube from three major youtuber in the world all right but those who want to grow your followers on social media especially tiktok and instagram all right i want to give 50 people to yule for the month of april remember the number of people you meet determines the number of customers the number of customers determines how much you're going to make so if you want to go viral as well and grow your followership the targets ladies and gentlemen in six weeks because you have to learn what he knows 
He's going to teach you his secrets. He's going to personally coach you. All right. Then secondly, you're going to go through a four weeks challenge. That's 30 days challenge of implementing the things that it teach you or it teaches you going forward. All right. So I just want 50 people. Um, if you want to be part of the 50, just type the word 50 in the comment section. All right. Uh, from any country you are in, I'm going to give you access to Yuli and of course access to George as well. So I'm giving you both George and Yuli for six weeks for them to mentor you directly. Now, they are not selling you a course. This is not a course. Let me say this again. No because una won't buy. We are not selling you a course. What we are giving you is opportunity to work directly with a viral person to show you exactly what he has done, repeat the same thing or similar things, and, excuse me, in 30 days, we want you to have up to a million views. A million people will see your content. And you have up to 10,000 people following you, which you can convert to customers. Do you get me? So that's exactly what we want to do. That's exactly what we want to do. So it is not a cost. So for those of you who are typing 50, I'd already told you, those of you who did Urgent 2K, that I was coming without to grow on social media. Because all the things I taught you, hey, you need this thing to be able to monetize it. All right. So today I'm fulfilling my promise. And I'm going to be giving you a link. I want you to click that link. All right. If you want to be part of these people. I'm going to drop the link on YouTube and of course on Zoom. This is a fastest fingers first. The first 50 to join the group are all we are going to be taking for this month of April. If you miss it, it have go. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to post the link now. Please stop chatting so that people can see the link. Stop chatting so that they can see the link. Now, this is very, very affordable. All right? It's very affordable. It's not a lot of money. Yeah. Now, let me warn you. Some of you might not have it. Because even though it's affordable, it's a lot. All right? It's just $600 only. $600 only. It's not a lot of money. It's small money. But some people is big money. But here's the deal. What can you do with a million views on social media? What can you do with 10,000 people who can buy something from you, one thing or another? How much would that be worth to you? So what I've decided to do is to bring the price down. For the first 50 people, it's not about money. All I need from you is just $50. 50 people, $50. If you're a Nigerian... I have done something incredible for you. You are supposed to be paying about 75K. I've done, I've given you my own exchange rates. Only 50K. So if you have 50K, hit that link now and pay. Now, if you're in Cameroon, it's 35K. Only small money. If you're in Kenya, 75. Small money. If you're in Ghana, small money also. So the first 50 on that uh, link. You know the way we used to do it. The link is limited to a certain number. Once we've hit that number, we are done. So just go to that place. Select the country you are from and hit the button. Make the payments. Join the group. Send me an email if you cannot join the group because you will be redirected. I want you to be redirected. Uh, you will be redirected the way it's set. You are supposed to be redirected. And once you are redirected, you'll be able to see it. All right. So that is... Uh, where is this thing? All right, that's the that's the link. All right, you can click it. You can click it on the screen. It's inside the comments. I don't even know there's a way to. Let me see if there's a way to pin it so that those who are watching can be able to get access to it. Okay, I think I should be able to pin it here. Okay. All right, so I think it is pinned. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Let's give you. Once you have done it, just type done. Once you have done it, just type done. Come on, 50 people, one, uh, six weeks. 50 people, six weeks. Let's get you viral. One million view on your content and over 10,000 people following you. Even if you don't have any followers today, let's get it done. It's going to be on TikTok and Instagram. 
and I'm also going to be giving you access to somebody that's going to do uh, YouTube for you, all right? So let's get it done, let's get it done, let's get it done, let's get it done. Let's get it done, let's get it done, let's get it done. Those of you that I thought crowdfunding, you know what to do. You know what to do. Just be praying that they don't reach 50 so that you can take the <laughs> So you can take the opportunity. All right. So put it there, put it there, put it there. Once you have done, just give me done, give me done, give me done, give me done. Give me done, give me done. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. It's very, very simple. Congratulations to those who are able to do it. Fantastic, fantastic. Congratulations, congratulations. <laughs> Somebody say it's there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! All right. Okay then. Okay then, fantastic, fantastic. Okay, why we still allow more people to get it done? Um, <laughs> some people are heartbroken. <laughs> some people are heartbroken. I'm sorry, you. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not my fault. Hmm? I'm sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> some people are still asking for the link. It's not my fault to... Okay, let me pause, paste the link inside the Zoom again. Um, that is the link. Those of you who have paid for YouTube course, we have delivered the course already. You answer Alabura. It's already delivered. I don't know if you do not have it. That means you are not on the Telegram channel. So you might need to just send me an email so that you can get it. Ah... <laughs> uh. All right, all right, all right. So if you're a student of Urgent 2K program, um, I'm going to be dropping the link on your on your Telegram so that you can take advantage of it as well. Um, in case you can't take advantage of it now, till we eat the 50 that we are looking for. So please take advantage of it if you are part of that course, okay? If you're part of that course, take advantage of it. Um on the group okay take advantage of it on the group okay so uh yuli before i let you go i need to wrap up my class what are the things that they are going to be you're going to be doing for each of these 50 people in the i want it to last within six weeks i want them to have about two weeks of learning and then have a 30 days of implementing so that I can be able to monitor their progress and all of that so what are the things they're going to be getting Okay, within the first one, one uh, month, uh, because this is going to be two, two months now, uh, the first one month is just going to be um, live coaching every week where I'm going to be showing you um, how to do these things. I have a course, you're going to have access to that particular course. In that course, you're going to learn um, how to generate content ideas, how to generate content ideas, how to shoot your content, whether you have a ring light or not, whether you have a good phone or not, you are going to learn how to shoot your contents with that, that phone you have, <laughs> all right? Also, you're going to learn um, how to edit your content using InShot and CapCut. You are going to learn how to use InShot and CapCut to edit your content in such a way that it is captivating and um, very attractive. You are going to learn how to get and hold attention within uh, uh, in your content, right? So it's one thing to shoot the content and edit, and you must know how to, to get attention and all of that. So there is the theoretical part and there is the practical part, and I'm going to teach you everything in this particular one week. And after the one week, we are doing the 30 days challenge where every one of you are going to show me what you have learned by you know implementing and then giving me the millions of views. Amazing, amazing. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I promised and I've delivered my promise so, and I've brought the price down for you to be able to afford it. Uh, so do the needful. Congratulations to those who are able to join. We have only 50 slots on that 
and then let's get it out of the way. All right, thank you so much, Yuli. Uh, we'll begin the program. I think the program is going to be starting in about 10 days from now so that we'll get um, all the people we need and all the tools and everything ready so that you'll be able to go through with that. But we're going to be communicating to with everybody on that afterwards. All right, thank you, Yuli. Okay, so I know some of you do not like me anymore. Oh God, forgive me if you don't like me. <laughs> you want to buy the YouTube course? The YouTube course is uh, um, let me see. Yeah, this is one year anniversary of 30 days challenge. I wish we could do another 30 days challenge, but we are not doing 30 days challenge now. Let me finish my thoughts and then we'll get into announcement for the family meeting. So the number four thing that I want to share with you tonight. Let's start from number one. Number one, we talked about the... Abundance, you deserve abundance. Number two, I talked about your money is in people's pocket. Number three, I talk about you must meet new people every day and find a way to give them a form of value. And number four, this is very key. Are you ready? Number four, I must be seen every day. I must be seen every day. People must see me every day. People must see me every day. Now, these are some of the things that you can do in order to reach more people. Number one, you can do what they call mutual shout-outs, which means you can get somebody to give you a shout-out and you give the person a shout-out as well on their story so they can mention you and talk about some good things about you you mention them and talk about some good things about them both of you could have 100 followers it doesn't matter so use your 200 100 100 followers and then it makes sense part of their followers will follow you part of your followers will follow them so you can share those things all right you can do post collaboration so look for people that have similar number of followers as you all right, these are some of the things you can do. Number three, you can host people on Instagram Live if you want to do on Instagram. So you can pick maybe something like, say, every Friday. All right, so every Friday, I am going to be hosting is a I'm, every Friday, I'm going to be hosting different people to talk about things or their experiences and all that. Let people come and just brag about the things that they do. You might not have a lot of followers, but those people are going to come with their own followers. And part of them are going to follow you as well. They're going to see the things that you are doing as well. And finally, you have to post content every day. You have to post a form of content every day. So these are part of the daily assignments that you have to do in the month of April. Remember... What we are looking for in the month of April is more customer, more money. More people, more customer, more money. So the more people that you meet and you show yourself to and you share a form of value with, the more customers you're going to get. The more customers you get, the more money you make. There are things you can sell. There are things you're promoting. A lot of you are promoting your Gen 2K. You're promoting 1K Club. And uh, this month, we're going to be starting our certification program, affiliate marketing certification program, by the way. You need a lot of these things, okay? So you have to find a way to get this done. This is why, please do everything possible to be a part of the 50 people that Yule is going to be taking. We have over 5,000 people on Urgent 2K alone. 5,000 people on Urgent 2K alone. On 1K Club, we have probably 25,000. All right, and we want to start with only 50. Like, for example, T only got about 20 plus people for last week who the things that they are learning already, I've seen some of their feedbacks and all of that. And those people are going to make a lot of money. As a matter of fact, let me blow your mind. 
we are setting up a bit of a challenge for those people. If they can make a certain amount of money, we're not saying if you can make a sale. We're talking about if you can earn a certain amount of money within a stipulated period of time, they're going to be getting some special gift. Part of the gift I want to give to them is a weekend retreat. I want to take these people to a different country. I'll pay for everything. And they're going to sit with me for a weekend. And we're going to talk about businesses, share ideas. They get to ask me any questions, that things that they want to know. And we'll have a lot of fun as well. I'd already picked the country we are going to, but they will be the ones to be able to go. Now, that is not for everybody. It's just for a few people who decide to do something about their businesses. All right? So, please note this. Whatever you are going to make money from must cost you money. It is okay if you do not have the money. It is not okay if you cannot raise the money. Hmm? So don't feel bad that you don't have 50K or $50 right now. Don't feel bad. The question should be, what can I do to raise 50K so that I probably can also be part of this? That should be the next question, okay? So the things that I need you to begin to do every day, post the content. Part of the things you can do, find, to do, find a way to do collaborations with people, go live with people. All right. Don't go for heavyweight people that have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, or millions of followers. No. Start with people that have similar number of followers with you. All right. <clears throat> Even if it's two views that you people are having live, don't worry. Post the replay. And do that consistently. Maybe every week. Consistently. And you're going to see the difference that's going to make in your account. But those of you who want to build it fast, you want mentorship, I've already given you Yoli, all right? So you can do with Yoli and be able to get all of that done. So, ladies and gentlemen, for the month of April, please, all I've tried to teach in the last two hours is the more people you meet, the more customers you get. The more customers you get, the more money you make. You need customers, not friends, in April 2024. You need customers, not friends. If you are broke, it's because you don't have enough customers. If you are broke, it's because you don't have enough customers. If you need money for a project, it's because you don't have enough customers. Because those monies you need are in people's pockets. They are in people's pocket, all right? They are in people's pocket. Those monies you need, they are in people's pockets. So the way you're going to get them is to turn them to customers and you're going to be able to get all the monies you need out of their pocket conveniently. All right. Congratulations to those who are able to take those offers. <laughs> hmm. How can we know the value to give because there are different kinds of people? All right. I think I've already touched that. So you can give education about the things you do. You can educate people about the things you do. You can put entertainment content. It's so valuable. You can post information, which is news and all of those things. They are also very important. You can give compliments. All of this is to build rapport so that they will see the things that you are selling. And finally, they will be able to buy from you or buy through you. If you are the owner of the product, they buy from you. If you are not the owner of the product, they will buy through you. All right. So I hope you gained something tonight. Summary, you need people every day because you need customers. You need customers because you need customers to be able to make money. Okay, somebody says it's only for Africans. No, it's not for Africans alone. It's for everywhere. It works everywhere. You have not been added to Tioni's course. Why? How possible is that? Uh, Pascaline, please uh, send me a message. Send me a message on WhatsApp. Send me a message on WhatsApp. It's very important. Send me a message on WhatsApp. <laughs> Your mates are already making a lot of money or about to start making a lot of money if they have not started already. So you cannot say you have not gotten it. Okay. All right. Somebody just posted my number for you so you can send me a message um, so that you can get access to that. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. All right. I have a few announcements to make, which are very important. Uh, the first announcement is going to be towards the 
Uh, number one is Happy New Month. Uh, it's New Month in Kenya also right now. It's been New Month in Dubai in the last two hours. Okay, so first announcement is we're going to be starting our certification program this month. As a matter of fact, on Saturday, the 6th of April, is going to be our introductory class. All right. It's going to be um, a six-month program. It's going to be a six-month program. We're going to have 12 weeks of training. And we're going to have another 12 week of IT. That's attachment, industrial attachments. <laughs> All right. So you're going to be learning 10 core things. Excuse me. You're going to be learning 10 core things that a professional affiliate is supposed to be able to do. All of the 10 things are going to be practical. Excuse me, which means after teaching you, you will spend an entire week practicing it. You must be able to do it. You're not just going to listen. You have to do them. All right. So you're going to have practical works. And once you're done with the training, you're going to write an exam at your 13th week. You're going to write an exam. And those who pass the exams are going to be attached to different businesses all right to promote their products you're going to be attached to different businesses to promote their product all right there are going to be a whole lot of stuff that will happen within the program all right um the classes are not necessarily going to be live but we're going to have live sessions once in a while all right so, but this is open only to Ziba Affiliates VIP package. So, if you are on VIP on Ziba Affiliates, you have free access to this. If you are not on VIP, you will be paying a thousand US dollars, no discount to be part of this. But of course, Ziba Affiliates. Is still open. The VIP is still open at two hundred dollars. I think at one fifty thousand naira, two hundred dollars what we're charging. So you can still join before the price jacks up. But the announcement is for those of you who are already on Ziba affiliate. That's what we are going to be doing. All right. So please get ready. Our introductory class is going to be on Saturday, and it's going to be a mind blowing session. So that's the first one. The second announcement will be for the offer creation program the offer creation agency student those of you who paid for that program finally your waiting time is over in april we're going to be executing and i think your introductory class for the agency program is going to be live tomorrow first of april 2020 2024 you're going to have your introductory session so get ready if you paid for that program uh, we're going to be opening that up all right that's the second one the third one is for 1k club partner program the partner program will be live this april there are a lot of things we're changing about the 1k club so once we're done with that we'll give you access to it and then you can begin to work around it so that is that then beyond the course our last our live session sorry will start in april if you bought the beyond the course program our live session will start in april so all the things you've been learning you want to ask me a question so i'm going to do three hours with you this month of april and then we're going to be building from there so these are the announcements that i want to give uh those who are on the revenue share don't worry i think your payment is going to begin this week um so stay tuned we're going to send information to you going forward um <clears throat> offer creation go to your telegram channel go to your telegram channel you get access to it uh, the 100 days challenge i'll send you a message on the group i'm not too i think i'm going to need to merge you with the um with the certification program i think that's what i'm going to do or just give you access to other programs that look like an 100 days challenge that is much more than what you paid and then we're going to mix it together that way i think that's what i'm going to do but please wait for me in your telegram i'm going to send you a message um in that regard all right. Um, 
I think that's about all the announcement that I have. Um, the urgent to kick Cameroon and Nigeria, there are a few uh, lessons that are missing. We should be adding some of them this week. So please stay tuned. And um, other things, those of you who have applied to be an affiliate, we're also going to be approving you so that you can be able to learn how to promote that. Uh, <laughs> interestingly. Okay. So thank you for that. I think I've been able to do all the things that I want to do. Uh, all right. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. All right, everybody. Um, this is good night from YouTube and Instagram. Have a lovely, lovely night. Thank you. Let me put my music. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. A powerful business.